Hi everyone, my name is Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Spiel 2019. I've been joined by Ars Destis uh, with Edition Spiel Visa. Mm -hmm. You brought evidence with you. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this game, please. Okay, uh, it's a family game. Okay. Uh, its main mechanic is deduction. Um, and thematically speaking, we're all ambitious journalists. Okay. And we believe in the existence of six uh, creatures that are, uh, they're also on the box. Um, so, so, so you can see them. Oh, yes, yeah, so Mr. Creek, maybe a Yeti here. Yeah. Bottle Snowman, the Leprechaun. Okay. Exactly. Loch Ness Mummy. Monster. Yeah. <laughs> Loch Ness Monster, exactly. Uh, and uh, we're trying to prove their existence. So right. we are traveling in six different locations trying to gather evidence um, to prove their existence. And then uh, after we get evidence, this is like the card, the search card. In the end of the game, we flip them and they become news, so practically yes. we write articles. But okay. the thing is, the value of the articles really depends on a hidden card, uh, and that's where the deduction comes in. Um, so practically, in the beginning of the game... Um, these, are these cards flipped over from these decks? or how is Yeah, that? sure. So there's six yeah. locations. These are just uh, showing the content of yeah. this, each deck. So each deck has six cards. And each card has a specific value, as you can see here. So, for example, here there is a minus one, two ones, one, two, and two threes. Yeah. Uh, so in the beginning of the game, during the setup, you just put a random card underneath, which is hidden. Yeah. So this is the real evidence that you're going to find if you search in this location. Okay. Uh, then we, let's say we just do this for each. Then we make one ah, deck okay, with all the okay. remaining cards yes. and then depending on the number of players uh, we have some cards that are being displayed here so practically in the setup you're gonna have like let's do it openly yes let's say you have a, up here. Yeah. a hand of six cards yeah. they're random so they could be from any color sure so let's say this is your hand right yeah so um, and then depending on some on the number of players, there's going to be some uh, information from the beginning of the game. Right. Uh, so let's say we have one of each, for example. So this is open information right. for everybody. And during your turn, uh, following this order, uh, you have to start from this, meaning you have to play a card from your hand. Uh, so, you have to figure out what's what best am I for you for? to... What am I ultimately trying to get? Okay, you're trying to figure out what this number is. Yes. And during the game, you invest uh, by searching this location. Yes. And at the end of the game, each search card you have becomes a news card. And right. it's going to score the value of the hidden card. Okay, this will score whatever this is. So yeah, want, exactly. In the end right. of the game, we're going to know this is a zero, so right. this scores zero. Right. So right. I really want to find the ones that have the highest value enter here. Exactly. Right? And yeah. then try to get those yeah. news items. By using the open information. Right. By using Plus what I know secretly. Exactly. Right. So I, have, I know, for example, looking at my hand, that two of the ones here are yeah. already gone. Right? Exactly. And, and then I know this one. Third one here, so you have like 66% chance that this is a three, yeah, yeah. but it turns out to be a zero. Right? right, right. So you might go in there heavy going, oh, I'm feeling pretty confident. Exactly, yeah. Right. That's where the deduction is like. You have to figure right. out what's there. You might know. I mean, it depends on your hand. Yeah. People sometimes know uh, what the hidden card is before other people. Okay. The thing is, uh, during your turn, you play a card. Let's say I play this one because it's yeah. not so important. Uh, for every round, you can get one search card, but you may skip. If you skip, you can get more in the next round. So always, you have to have a number uh, six six cards in total. Whenever you get search search cards, you don't put them in your hand. You just place them in front yes. of you. And the third thing you can do, and you can just do it once in the game, it's these cards. These are like activities you're doing instead yes. of searching. For for instance, I wait for right. a bike ride instead of looking for the leprechaun. Uh, these cards are used only once in the game, and each player can only use one of them. So if I use this one, I place it in front of me, no one else can use it, and I cannot use any of these. And this allows me to return all my search cards back and replace them with anything I want. One more thing, the topmost news card is always a plus one. Yes. That's for the 
first people that went to church sure. there. It's like the hot track, we call it. Yeah. Um, and then we have an expert mode. If you flip these cards, they have special abilities okay. that you can use. So later how, how long does the game typically more. take to play? Usually. 15 to 20 minutes. So relatively it's a quick game. Fast, like you said, yeah. family game, right? So you can play it with kids as well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And is this sure. something that's available right now? Yes. It just and came out. Okay, it's for two to five players, correct? Yes. Right. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for giving us an overview of evidence. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching.